Yo, welcome to a Gran Turismo 5 sort of commentary thing. Uh, basically, I just I just start playing this game again, and it's pretty chill, pretty relaxed. Um, and I thought I'd just do some races. I'm not very good, as you saw. I'm on me intermediate difficulty. Uh, yeah, just doing arcade mode. Just here is just looking around the tracks. What I'm gonna try and do is eight. Eight episode series for you, um, just and then there'll be eight different tracks, just with good cars, some of my favorite cars, and whatnot. Um, yeah, picking the tracks, and I think the only reason I've left this sort of part of the video where I'm picking the track and stuff in the in it is so I can explain what I'm doing here and stuff. So yeah, this is this is what I'm doing. Let me just mute my TV. Um, yeah, I'll just gonna do these to be more laid back. I haven't really planned this at all. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm gonna say in the slightest. Uh it's the Easter holidays for me at the moment and it's been fantastic. Like there's nothing more that I enjoy than just going out, uh chillaxing, relaxing, ain't too taxing. Probably said that wrong. But we'll all go over it. Anyway here I make the important choice to choose my car. Uh I think I go for the GT by Citroen Rocar in the end, which is a, actually a concept car that's not out as a road car yet. Um, and on here, I'll tell you a bit what the cars are like. Uh, this game for me is uh, uh like driving, not driving personally, but like you know racing and stuff is such like a hobby. Cars in general for me is such a a, a hobby of mine. And there's the GT by Citroen Rocar that I end up driving in this. Oh god, doesn't it? It's so beautiful. It's amazing looking. But yeah, cars is as cars is a hobby of one of mine. Just just I love I love them such I've such an interest in it. And uh you know, this game this game appeals to me in that way that it's just it, for for car racing games, uh, I don't think there's anything better. I I can't see anything better like Forza Motorsports and all that. I'm not just saying this cuz I'm on PS3 and I don't have an Xbox. But Forza Motorsports for me is just not I've played it. I just don't like it that much. Uh, other various ones like Burnout and stuff are, can be actually more fun than this. Like, this isn't nice fun. I find that's not very engaging, but it's still awesome. Anyway, yeah, so this whole series is going to be an intermediate. The next series, I'm I'm hoping to do it in Expert, or whatever the highest one's called, because as you see by this, I, I fuck up a lot. Because this... And I, this is really bad racing, by the way. This is really bad driving. I can actually drive better than this, I promise. But I sort of realised that with my car and on this level, like they, they match the cars to you. So look, I'm against Dodge Viper SRTs and you know 458 and stuff. I'm against good fast cars still. But I just found that I, I had I was able to actually not drive very well. I, I was able to fuck up and still win. Um, so yeah, so there's not great lap times. I might actually start, you know, perfecting lap times. And what what I found as well, with the majority of cars, like, uh, let me think, for instance. This one, the Mercedes SLS. Uh, even a little bit the Lamborghini uh, LP560. Is it LP560? I forgot. Them. But all of these cars, they um, they have massive understeer. Like ginormous understeer, it's ridiculous. Um, the McLaren there, just in front of me to the left, I just nozzle the pass. That that for me is the worst. With this, this one is is up there in the bad. As you can see, like it's just it's it's, iman it, it's un unmanageable. Because basically, what I'm trying to do as well on this sort of to overtake people in real racing, you know, it can take you a whole lap to get past one car. Just find the right opportunity. With me, of course, you know, I've got two laps in every one of my races now that I do for you guys. I've got two laps, which I need to overtake all these cars. So I need to make the most and just overtake whenever I can. And that leads to me not taking the right cornering line. Um, another thing as well that I should point out, which makes this a lot harder, is the fact that I'm doing this without the, that corner I fuck up on multiple times. But yeah, I'm doing this without the driving line, which is probably the biggest aid you could possibly have in Gran Turismo 5. I've turned my ABS off as well, so I've got no traction control. Because uh, I find that actually gives more understeer. So this is it with maximum 
oversteer if anything, but yeah, I just ram cars for fun. Um, so yeah, driving line off. So that tells you when to brake, when to let off your gas, when to turn in, what cornering line to take, how to do the whole entire lap. And I'm just doing this by judgment. I I know cornering lines anyway. The out and then in. Bloody bloody blar. All of that. Look at me go, man. Look at me go. God, that car is delicious. It really is. It's it's very, very delicious. Look at the back. Just all the cuts and edges. It looks like I'm drumming the fucking Batmobile, man. I love it. See, look there. The understeer. I brake. I had to judge my own braking. Judged it wrong, but I couldn't. There's no way of me correcting it with the driving. Because the understeer was too massive. In real life, I should be driving. But I'm not because I'm a lazy fucker. I don't know what to talk about, so I'll talk about that. Uh, yeah, I, I'm basically uh, one of the most lazy people ever. I'm so lazy that I degenerate from trying to get jobs uh, and drive to doing gaming and YouTube. <laughs> and then I'm so lazy that even with the thing that I'm backing out from, so my YouTube, even in that, I'm being lazy and not uploading. Like, uh, Sorry again for that. Um, I'm actually... I haven't up, uh, uploaded my Porter 2 video yet, but hopefully when that uploads, you'll un you it will tell you why. Well, it'll be why I haven't been here for ages. There we go. Again, me fucking up that corner. I don't think this is really an off-road car. TBH. Uh, I can't tell how long this video is because the... The video thing has gone really fucked up. I think it's about seven minutes long. Anyway... Yeah, that there, where I look behind me, change the view. I actually do that a lot more later on. I find it's actually so useful just to dab it, get an understanding of where they're coming from. But anyway, here I'm rounding off my lap. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy these videos. You know, they just chill out. This one is very much talking about the game. Other ones, I'll be talking about the car and the game. But also, I'll try and get an actual focused topic next time. Rather than me blabbing on. I keep hitting that wall as well. Not very good. I could perfect these laps for you. Get them really good. I, yeah, I could do that. I could try. <laughs> but, you know, for now, it's on intermediate. I'm just driving. I'm just driving. And if I didn't drive like an idiot, I probably wouldn't come first. Anyway, peace out.